everybody, I hope you're all okay. We're missing you lots, but we've got another story for you today. Today's story is a Kipper story, and it's called Kipper's New Pet, and it's by Mick Inkpen. And I chose this story because I know some of you have got some new pets. Maybe Kipper has a new pig too. Pig was writing the invitations to his birthday party. This was his present list. One, a pet. Like a rabbit or a guinea pig or something. Two, a little mouse or a gerbil. Three, anything else. But mostly I would like number one or number two. He put the names on the envelopes and wondered what kind of pet he would get. When Kipper's invitation arrived, he read it and rushed off to the pet shop to choose a pet for pig. The rabbit? Too sleepy. The guinea pigs? Too timid. The mouse? Too shy. The stick insect? It's too much like a stick. Boring. But the hamster? The hamster was not sleepy, nor timid, nor shy. And it wasn't like a stick at all. It was perfect. One of these, please, said Kipper. At home, Kipper gave the hamster some sunflower seeds. It stuffed them into his cheeks. Are you always as hungry, said Kipper. The hamster ran up Kipper's arm and sat on his shoulder, cleaning his whiskers. Then it ran down the other arm and rolled across the table. You can do a roly-poly, said Kipper. You're so clever. And the hamster did it again. The morning of the party rolled by. Roly-poly woke Kipper up by nibbling his ear. I wish I didn't have to give you to pig today, said Kipper. At breakfast, Kipper began to think that maybe he would keep Roly and buy Rabbit the pig instead. No, he'd like you better, sighed Kipper. <sighs> Come on, let's wrap up your cage. Kipper got out some scissors and sticky tape and unrolled a roller wrapping paper. Roly ran into the cardboard tube and popped out the other end, making Kipper giggle. Then he slid all the way down the tube and rolled across the floor, making Kipper giggle again. It gave Kipper an idea. A big idea. This was Kipper's big idea. It took him ages. But it worked perfectly. You're the best birthday present ever, said Kipper. It was then that he remembered. Pig's party! Kipper rushed off to Pig's house. Halfway there he met Jack and Tiger, coming the other way. Where were you? said Tiger. The party's over! But Kipper wasn't listening. He was thinking about Roly-Poly. I can't stop! He said, I don't think he likes it in there very much. Jake and Tiger began to giggle. Oh no, not another one, said Tiger. I'm sorry I'm late, said Kipper to Pig as he opened the door. I was playing with your present. Isn't he brilliant? Then he noticed that Pig was holding a rabbit, a mouse, two guinea pigs, and there was a stick insect crawling on his, across his head. What are those? said Kipper. They're my presents, said Pig. They sat down at Pig's table and Kipper fed Rolly with a piece of leftover party cake. So he's not really what you wanted, said Kipper. He's exactly what I wanted, said Pig, before I had all of these. He pointed to his other pets. But it's my own fault. I should have thought of something else to put on my present list. Kipper took a big bite of cake for himself. He's very nice though, isn't he? said Kipper. His name is Roly-Poly because he can do Roly-Polies. He's really good at them and he's always hungry. He keeps his food in his cheeks. Look! Pig looked at Roly's little fat face. It was his turn to have an idea. Kipper, said Pig, would you do me a favour? Kipper was so surprised. Would you look after him for me? Kipper almost choked on his cake. What? 
Picking home, you mean? said Kipper. Pig nodded. So he'd still be yours, but I'd look after him? Pig nodded again. Oh yes, said Kipper. He said it so loudly that the that all of Pig's other pets jumped off the table and hid underneath. Kipper picked up Roly Poly, set him back down and fed him another piece of cake. Roly Poly stopped eating for a second, hiccuped and started eating again. <laughs>